<laughs> so you're uh, entangled. Yes, so this free will requires new physics. So we have the I th freedom is an axiom. It can neither be proved nor rejected by any scientific experiment. Yeah? So in I think freedom, like Nicholas said in the previous discussion, is something you can accept or reject, but if you are doing science, you can take freedom as an axiom for your science. You can do science also without freedom, but if you wish do science with freedom, you can take freedom as an axiom. But I wonder why a deterministic universe produces a guy like me who wish to be free. That is for me a paradox. Anyway, if I choose the option of freedom, uh, I have to reject the determinants of the classical physics that we have discussed about uh, uh, before. And the true quantum randomness in, is in principle good news, very good news for free will. But there is an objection, quantum indeterminism excludes any order or plan and therefore is incompatible with free will. This is a standard objection. The answer to this objection is that this is a, is a misconception about the principles of the quantum. Quantum physics establishes that uh, the detection outcomes in an experiment have to fulfill a determined determine, determine statistical distribution. And this outcome is unpredictable in principle for an external observer. However, quantum physics does not establish that the outcomes must happen without any order and be meaningless. Thus, free will require new physics is the same as asking, can quantum randomness be controlled by free will? I would try to answer this, this question, putting uh, Introducing, first of all, the accent of non-locality at detection, that is science. And in a second part, I will make some scientific speculation about non-material control of neural networks. So here um, you have uh, a simple quantum interferometer. You have here light emitting by this source, and this light will be captured. Oh, what is happening here? So, Antoine, yes. can I suggest you do it on that screen? Yes, okay. That is. So, and uh, here is the, this light can go to these detectors by this path or by this path. You can change here the length of one path yeah? and what, what quantum physics predicts is this distribution here yeah? and uh, according to the length of these two paths. For instance, in this case you have the distribution you will get 70% of counts here and 30% of count here. You can also make so, and then you are changing this distribution here. So this will work so. For instance, now it's going so. OK. Again, you, quantum physics tells you which be, with this particular configuration, the uh, distribution of the, of the countings here. But quantum physics cannot, it's they renounce to predict the order you are getting here, okay? And uh, this already, in this experiment, means that uh, you have two possibilities to say the decision of which detector fires is done at the detection or it is done here. Let us, if it is done at the detection, eh, decision and the detection, this means that there is a kind of coordination between these two detectors. If one detector clicks, the other doesn't click. 
and uh, vice versa. So there is a coordination between these detectors. And this means that here you have already a sort of non-locality. You can put these two detectors quite far away from each other. Eh? And then this means that if there is a coordination, there is something which is non-local. Eh? Otherwise, you could, otherwise, if you, if it would be local, you would be sometimes the two detectors firing and sometimes the two detectors, neither of the detectors fired. This would mean you would have a conservation of energy on the average, but not, but not in each single quantum event. So I think this is a quite impor important aspect of non-locality because it shows <coughs> that non-locality if you assume that it happens, the decision at detection, non-locality is not only related to the issue of no signaling, as we have heard by Antonio, but also quite important related to the issue of the conservation of energy. So here, the principle of conservation of energy is being, uh, is being uh, um, uh, supported by non-locality. Something quite material, like the conservation of energy, requires something non-material, non-locality. You could take, if you take the decision here happens at the beam splitter, then you have to introduce the weird, cons uh, the, the, then you have to assume that a particle is going one path and the other path is going an empty wave. It is the model of the boy a wave that you cannot detect at all. So that is, I see, weird, eh? a bit an odd concept in my opinion, because you are assuming the same thing propagating in space-time is undetectable, is unobservable. So that is a kind of contradiction here. So that is why I keep to the, uh, to the concept of non-locality at detection. So, this is for me important if, because if it is, if you can have this non-locality here at detection, then you could influence this order here, what is happening here, you could influence this like uh, an influence from non-material, from outside the space-time. So this is now uh, referring to some kind of non-material influence. And you could here introduce a certain order in this, uh, like you, you could influence the, the order who is coming here from outside space-time. Nonetheless, when you finish this influence and you let the system going on, you will get, uh, after new runs, after a certain number of runs, you will get this probability predicted by quantum physics. I would say, for instance, if I am now uh, uh, influencing the movements uh, of my lips, eh, when you are going to sleep, uh, then you are uh, having random processes in your brain, and then you acquire, you balance in a certain sense, the, uh, you, you reach in a certain sense this distribution you wish to have. Um, so, then that is, this simple experiment is for me the entry in the quantum world. So when you have the interferences and the photoelectric effect, that is here, thank you, and the photoelectric effect, then you are entering quantum physics. Photoelectric effects means that only one detector click at a time, eh? that you, you send one photon you have one of the two detectors clicking. So I say that is, uh, for me, I compare this to the platform uh, nine three quarters in Harry Potter. So you are entering the magic world of quantum physics.